Hi, I'm David Pagan Butler, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really enormous earth stone. In fact, it's not stone, it's made of rubber. And it's 20 meters long, and it costs 20 pounds. Can you believe it? I had this idea when I had to buy some soaker hose for my partner. Uh, the greenhouse needed watering all the time, so I thought, well, actually, I'll I can't, I can't be bothered watering it, so I'll buy some soaker hose, which was this stuff. It cost £19.95. And then just as I was about to install it in the greenhouse, I thought, hang on a minute, what happens if you pump air into this? And lo and behold, it turns into a massive air stone. Okay, well, I was very, very excited about this. So this is how you do it. This is the hose, about 15 millimeter diameter. It's uh, obviously, it's, it's, it's made from recycled rubber, porous. Um, incidentally, I put some of this in a, in a fish tank with some trout fry, and um, they were perfectly healthy. So this stuff seems to be pretty, well, free of toxin anyway. Um, now it's, it's simplicity itself to connect it up. This is um, just standard air hose. Um, I've forgotten the diameter, internal diameter by eight millimeters, external, I don't know, about 10. But anyway, um, that, the other end's plugging into the compressor, which is over there. I'll give it a shot of that in a second. This just pushes into the, in fact, can you hear that? So air's coming out of it already. This just pushes into there. And it's a really nice tight fit. Now what's happening is air is seeping out of here. In the pond, oh, actually I've just disconnected it. Um, I've got one of these running in the pond there and it was really nice. I'll show you some shots of that. Anyway, in the meantime, I'll just chuck this in the way it is, just in its coil. So we can see it working. There we go. Obviously it's all coming up as big just one load of big bubbles at the moment because it's all coiled together but when it's all stretched out it's all that air is all evenly distributed it's really really nice so there we go fantastic idea for 20 quid being pumped with air the hose wants to float so for this experiment I've tied stones every six foot or so along the length Beyond oxygenation, the curtain of bubbles has multiple effects on the pool. The rising bubbles drive an upward flow of water, and at the surface it splits and heads off in opposite directions. Towards the planted zone, this flow of water, just below the surface, carries nutrients and sediment, which is then filtered by the submerged and emergent plants. It also prevents floating debris, like dropped leaves, from drifting out of the plant zone. In the swimming zone on the left, the surface current continues until it meets an obstacle or an opposite current, at which point it dives down and returns. In so doing, it mixes the upper layers of water, making swimming free from surprising cold and warm patches in the pool. And as well as looking pretty, the bubbles help show the submerged edge of the swimming zone. Not just as a visual indication, the effervescent ribbon of bubbles is both audible and subtly tactile. <laughs>